Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to another video. This is your host, Rising Oblivion. Today, guys, we're going to be talking about Soul Hackers 2. Yes, Soul Hackers 2 has been confirmed. We have a release date and the platforms that we know it's going to be going on and a brand new trailer. I'm going to show that trailer here without giving any commentary. Then I'll, after that, give my commentary on the different stuff that we have there. We do know there is confirmed DLC for this game as well. So, Soul Hackers 2 comes out on PS4, PS5, Xbox One, Series X as well. P PC for Steam, no Switch release for this game, so this is going to be just your, you know, HD consoles and whatnot. This comes out August 25th, 2022 in Japan, which we assume there's going to be an English trailer coming out the day that you actually see this video later at night. We assume that is also going to be something that we're going to be getting for the English trailer. And I do have some stuff that will show after I show the trailers here. We do know what the box art looks like. We do know what the DLC costumes look like as well. So I will make sure to show that in this video towards the end so you don't want to miss that. But I'm just going to show you the trailer fresh right here and then i'm gonna give you my reaction to the trailer and then i will show you the screenshots the dlc the cover art everything else i will give you all the details on that in this video まるで世界は5分前に作られたって気分デビル ファントムに明かしがあるからな。少なくともそいつを取り立てるまでは力を貸す。復讐は必ず果たすわ。せっかく殺したのだから、ちゃんと死んだままでいてもらわないと困る。きっとまだ間に合う。君たちは間に合わ
Good looking HUD. Let's keep going here. The art is a little bit different. It's like more like cell shade, I guess, is what that is. We can see the buffs and debuffs there next to the, the character icons above there. Yeah, you sort of see that above there. So that's the pro tag of the three other characters here. So we have like two girls, two guys, I think is what it looks like here. Is it just me or does her blade kind of look like Genji's from Overwatch? Is it just me? Let's to that. That boy, Severus, there. There's a new town. Karakucho? Karakucho. Karakucho. Ooh, look at that evil Jack Frost in the background. Oh my god. Alright. Luffy City. Yeah, or Black Frost in the background. Okay. Alright, alright, alright. Oh. Oh. Hold on. What up, girl? Hold on. Hold on. Shop? Shop that we can buy stuff from? Interesting. Did, I don't want to say this looks Dagon Rompel esque, but it kind of looks like Dagon Rompel. What the fuck? I don't mind that though. I've really been getting into it. So, okay, so we got a shop here. Interesting. By the way, I think we're supposed to be getting an English trailer, I think, later today when this video is out. I believe. I'm gonna get a look at these people there. Okay, here's another one. So I imagine this is something like the gun, the gun dealer or whatever. That was like a healer or whatever. But shows the demons there. We got the demons on the right. Okay. Which I assume those are like the SMT5 models. Like the more HD models of these demons. It's probably what they're using here. Oh, the fusion guy. Okay. Demon fusion, of course. Oh no, is this copyrighted? Let's turn this down a little bit. Let's turn this down a little bit. <laughs> Alright, interesting. Some story elements here. Story elements. Interesting. It looks like a cool cast. Yo, who's that? Soul Hackers 2. Okay, alright. We need that English trailer so I can understand what the hell is going on. I stripped this really early, I don't have the subtitles on it, my bad. But, okay, there's the collector's edition. I'm gonna go over this all in its own thing, but... Wow, not bad. I really liked that. At least from what we could tell. Oh yeah, the... <laughs> the fucking, uh... <laughs> P5, of course. Which I got I got more to talk about this too here in the video. Interesting, wow. Okay, Soul Hackers 2. I like the aesthetics. I actually love this art style a lot. Like, a whole lot. This art style actually is really interesting to me. I actually think this might look better than SMT5 in some way. I don't know. We need to play the game to understand more, but wow, interesting. That was a cool trailer. Honestly, I'm really hyped for that more than I actually thought I would be. I never played the original Soul Hackers. I intend to play it soon. I, I, I'm going back and playing Order Meg 10 games, but that was interesting there. So we are roaming around in the city, which if I believe right, I believe the original Soul Hackers is actually some of an inspiration for the original Persona game. So... It kind of makes sense, I guess, maybe why they have some of this, like, DLC stuff in there, but interesting. So we are running around the town there. There's shops and stuff like that. Soul Hackers, okay. Soul Hackers 2. It takes a different art style, and this is releasing on a lot of different things. Not the Switch, though. Interesting. Wow. Well, that is it. The Soul Hackers 2 trailer. I mean, I'm more hyped for this than I initially thought I was going to be. I figured we were going to be getting something new from Atlas, but I did not know it was going to be something this, like, big. It really seems like Soul Hackers is jumping to its new thing. And what we can see from this video, this is not Shin Megami Tensei, you know, Devil Summoner Soul Hackers or whatever. This is just purely Soul Hackers 2. So we know now that this is going to be sort of its standalone 
series, I guess you could say, that Soul Hackers 2 is going to be its brand new thing. Similar to what happened to Persona. Persona branched off. It just became Persona. It wasn't Shin Megami Tensei Persona anymore. It is just called Persona. So, we know now that we have the Soul Hackers 2 as its own brand new thing, which is really cool. And I'm interested in this. I'm actually super interested in this franchise now. I really want to know where this can go with this whole brand new, I guess, not brand new IP, but really breathing life back into Soul Hackers and seeing what this can become. So let's take a look at the collector's box of this. So the collector's box comes with its own box and tin, but it also has the, I guess, Jack Frost version of our protagonist as well, which is kind of funny looking. And like I said, this comes out on PS4, Xbox, uh, PC. This does not have the Switch release, so you're not going to be getting that. But yeah, it is Soul Hackers 2 Collector's Edition. You get the pro tag there get the box and of course you get i think the steel book is what they have there and also the soundtrack i believe is what that's supposed to be and this is i guess and it says there at the top left corner the soul hackers 25th anniversary so you get a collector's jack frost the ps4 game you get a steel book for this and you get i think the soundtrack and some other goodies there three cds i think is just supposed to be the soundtrack for this game but it could be more I'm not 100% sure. We'll have to see, I guess, in the future what that uh, what that entails whenever we get the English trailer, which I will release pretty much right after this whenever we can uh, get a hold of that. But next thing is the DLC. So this is the first, I guess, DLC that's going to be coming with the game, and that is the Persona 5 DLC. From what we can tell, it's just the four main characters there who are getting costumes. I don't know if we're supposed to get other party members later i i don't i'm not exactly 100 sure how the other soul hackers games have done it but at least when it looks like here we have the four characters here our protagonist of course becomes joker instead of having that whitish green hair she has black and red you know joker's colors i guess the other guy is ryuji the one the blonde haired girl of course is on and the uh or no i messed that up anyway joker then is um protagonist we have ryuji we have on and we have uh, of course the boy akechi not 100 sure why they chose just those ones i think they are maybe more closer to what it looks like for the actual characters and some fan favorites i think when it comes to the cast but that's not all they're not just costumes but you also get some background musics that you can have as well for this game i think keep our last being one that they actually shown there i don't know if there's supposed to be some other tracks but it looks like you at least get one of the persona 5 tracks i think whenever you're in battle i imagine that that's what there's going to be um you have an actual in battle track when having these costumes on similar i think to what happens with persona 5 and persona 5 royal how if you put on one of the protagonists from p3 or p4 or whatever you end up hearing their battle music instead of the p5 battle music that might be what this is. You're going to be getting the battle music from, you know, somebody, you know, from that game. So, I think that's basically it. We get the P5 costumes and we get the battle theme as well from P5. And lastly, our last bit of information that we have here is the cover art as well. Sorry if this looks kind of bad on screen. It was the best pick that i could possibly grab of this this is still very very early stuff so i will have better looking stuff down the road uh for these videos but this is the soul hackers 2 cover at least what we know for sure from the ps4 version of this game it does say zero at the bottom so we do know this is not of course like a american cover or anything like that this is obviously something that might change depending on the different places and again, this is not 100% confirmed for the West, but I'm pretty sure we know it's going to be coming out for the West. I mean, I think that's what else is going to be going on later today. Uh, I think we're going to be getting an English trailer. Hopefully, this is going to be releasing in English. The fact that they're having this come out in Japan uh, August 25th this year, I would hope, hope, hope that we would end up seeing this thing actually releasing you know worldwide they're trying to do those simultaneous worldwide releases so i wouldn't be surprised if we end up seeing this thing come out everywhere this year i'd hope that they would do that but we'll have to see we'll probably get an english trailer here very very soon but this cover art looks really good guys 
I'm kind of hyped for this. I can't lie. I'm more hyped for this than I thought I was going to be. I think this has certain elements, from maybe from SMT stuff and some of the you know Persona stuff. So this might be a perfect blend of stuff that we have within here. Let me know if you like the art at all. Do you think this is a good direction for Soul Hackers? A good direction for Atlas to have, um, you know, some of these side series and whatnot. Soul Hackers, it looks like, is becoming up in a series of its own. You know, it's taking its own name on. So. I'm really hyped about this, guys. Like, comment, subscribe for more content. Click the bell to be notified whenever I go live again or when I have a new video come out. Persona 25th anniversary. We should be having some more stuff this month about this. And more than likely, we're going to have some more Soul Hacker stuff, at least here in English. So stay up to date. Stay subscribed. Click the bell so you know when you get that latest news coming out to you. As always, thank you all so much for watching.